PC Phil here for the Dragon Bloggers, and here I'm showcasing the Kemori Mini PC. This is the retail box and packaging. Model number is AK2 Plus. Comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte hard drive. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Here's everything that comes in the package. First of all, we have the owner's manual, user's guide. Comes in many different languages. Show you how to plug the device in, get it up and running. Has extra screws for adding a second hard drive. Also screws for mounting this to a Visa compatible back of a monitor. You can just put the screws in here and the PC will mount to this bracket. And there's also one more security screw in here to screw into the computer to prevent any tampering with it. Comes with a standard AC outlet, two prong plug with the barrel connector and also comes with a four foot HDMI cable. Here's the actual computer itself. Nice little form factor computer here. If you look at the sides of it, here's your power button. You have two USB 3.0 ports and a standard USB 2.0 port. On the back side here, we have our DC plug to plug in the power. We have another USB 2.0 port. We have two HDMI ports, one RJ45 network adapter. There's your headphone jack and also a Kensington lock if you wanna lock this down. There's the other side and back to the front, the bottom. Has these rubber feet in case you want to leave it on the desk for stability. Here's the two holes to add the mounting bracket to it. If you want to wall mount this or attach it to a back of a Visa compatible monitor, these just go into like that and connect onto the bottom of the computer. If you want to look inside, just flip this little lever right here and the top comes off very easily. This is the spot to add another SSD hard drive if you want to expand the storage of it. See if we can look a little deeper into this machine. We take out the hard drive tray. You can see underneath, we have the 16 gigabyte memory chip in there. If you wanna upgrade that, you can simply take this chip out, get a bigger one, put that back in, extra memory. This is the DDR4 memory. Those are the only components that you would wanna upgrade is the RAM and or the hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. Take the lid, just slide that right back on. Let's get this booted up and see how it works. All right, so here I got the computer ready to plug in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug all my components in here. I got my wireless mouse. I'm gonna plug into the USB port, my wireless keyboard, plug into another USB port. I have an HDMI wire. I'll plug that into one of the HDMI ports. I got my network cable. I'll plug that into the network cable in the back. And we've got the power cord. Plug that into the back, plug that into the wall. Hit the power button. Blue light lit up. comes with Windows 11. Start our setup, select your country, my name, it'll be user. And I'll make it official, PC Phil. And we're up and running. We have Windows 11 Professional, the latest version installed on here. Processor is the Intel N100. We have 16 gigabytes of RAM. We got a four core processor, two megabytes of L2 cache and six megabytes of L3 cache. I'm gonna go ahead and install the user benchmark software. Run a system benchmark on this machine to see what it comes up with. All right, the tests are complete. Let's see what their benchmark results are. As of today, the processor is in its 48th percentile. The results show this would be an amazing desktop computer just to run your basic applications, watching videos, and surfing the web. Having this computer attached to the back of a monitor would be perfect. So it would be out of the way, out of sight. You can attach you know, wireless keyboard and mouse. You could sit on your couch, attach this to your big screen TV surf the internet, watch videos or whatever you'd like to do. I really would recommend getting one of these if you're tight on space because it is so small and yet so powerful. So I hope this video was helpful for you and we'll see you on the next one.